Do you have a Google form that you've been using and you're looking to figure out what to do with the data now that it's been collected? In this video, we're gonna take you through the steps of exporting that data into Google Sheets and making some amazing looking charts. So stick around for this episode of Tech Coach Weekly. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech Coach Weekly. My name is Jeff Bradbury and today is the second part of our three video series on how to create amazing data dashboards. You'll remember in our first video, we talked you through the steps of creating a Google form and what exactly you need to do to make it dynamic and usable for yourself and your coaches. Today, we're gonna be taking that data and going one step further and sharing with you guys how to use it in Google Sheets. You can see here that I'm in my Google form. If you're looking for this particular template, I'm gonna make sure that the link is below. You can always subscribe and download all of our free templates. You'll notice over here that I've got all of the questions lined up and up here it says responses. Now we've had a few people that have actually responded and you're gonna notice that we can actually take a look at all the charts here. But there's a few things to keep in mind. Number one, we can't really do much with this data. You can't see too much about it. Now, there's two things that we're gonna be doing in our next video. We're gonna show you guys how to take this data and put it into either a Google Slide or a Google Sheet. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. We will certainly be following up this video with a future video in this series. But today, let's do us a favor. But today, Let's go through here. We're gonna create a spreadsheet to dump this data in. To do so, I'm gonna click on the green button here that says Create Spreadsheet. And I've got two options. I wanna create a spreadsheet or I want to select an existing spreadsheet. Now, the second option is gonna be good if you've already got a number of forms and you wanna put them all into one spreadsheet. But for right now, I'm gonna hit Create a New Spreadsheet. I can, of course, name it anything I want, but I like naming it the same exact thing as my form. So that way the data and the data collection tool all have the same thing. I'm gonna click here on Create. And in a few seconds, I've got myself a nice Google form. And you can see here, I've got all of my columns. We mentioned in our last video that a Google form is nothing more than a spreadsheet waiting to happen. And you can see that here. We've got our questions, type of interaction, coaching opportunities, buildings, average time, reason for staff interaction, what is versus how to, how did you help, and is this information needed for a follow-up. But this doesn't look too good. So let's see what we can do to make this look better. First thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm going to take a look at these columns here. And what I wanna do is I wanna make them just a little bit bigger. You'll notice that if I highlight all the columns and I resize one of them, then all the columns are gonna go to the same size. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna highlight these cells here maybe make this information just a little bit bigger, bold. And you know what? I think I'm also going to make this just a little bit bigger here so that way I can see the ending of my questions. And you know what? Maybe I'm also going to come over here and let's see, I'm gonna fill this color with green and maybe I'm even going to center this text. So now you can see I'm starting to come up with a little bit of a table and let's do that. In fact, let's actually outline this table. I've got my borders and now you can see I've got some nice information here. I'm also going to come over here and say grid lines. I want to get rid of all the grid lines. So now all the grid lines that weren't in that border are put away. So now you can see we've got some nice columns here. I'll resize that just a bit. But what we want to do is we want to start to create charts, charts that we can start to use to analyze this information. So in order to do that, I'm going to first click on this column because what we want to do is we want to create a chart for each of the columns. And I'm going to come over here onto this insert chart button. And if I click on that, you can see right here, I've got a nice chart and it even takes the title of this row. So what I want to do is I just want to change this a little bit. I'm going to take count of and we're going to say type of interaction. You can see here I've got a nice pie chart, but if I want I can change that around over here. I've got a number of different things. I can hit 3D and now I've got a nice 3D uh, chart. I can even click on each of these little slices. Let's say instead of green I want to make this purple. 
I can certainly do that too. Now you can notice over here, I've got the different things, helping a student, tech support, instructional coaching, email, but I don't really know how many of those things are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna look for data information. And I'm gonna give it a value. And now when we look back over here on the chart, you can see I've got three instructional coaches, one email support. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that over here. Let's do this process again. I'm gonna highlight uh, column C. I'm gonna click on insert chart. And I've got this. Now let's say I don't want a pie chart for this. I wanna do a different kind. So over here under chart type, I'm gonna choose a column chart. So here we are in my column chart, and you can notice everything here is blue, but if I like to, let's say classroom visits, I wanna change that color here. I can make that orange. Under classroom teaching, I wanna make that, mm, let's see, I wanna make that one this color here. And then over here, we're gonna make that into this darker color. So you can see I automatically have my stuff here. If I want to, I can come into this and I can change the title. And you can see I've got my charts here. If I wanna make this into a 3D chart, I can click over onto chart style and I can change it into there. I'm gonna fast forward ahead and I'm gonna make charts out of all of these columns. And now here you can see I've got charts for all of my information. Pretty easy to now take this information. And in our next video, we're going to be showing you guys what you can do with this, both in Google Slides and in Google Sites. So as you can see, it's very easy to create charts and graphs from your data collected in Google Forms. In our next video, we're going to show you guys how to take this information and put it dynamically into two different places, Google Slides and Google Sites. We're gonna be creating a nice data dashboard in our next video, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, stick around, and if you have any questions about this stuff, leave a comment below, we would love to hear from you guys. And that wraps up this episode of Tech Coach Weekly on behalf of everybody here in TeacherCast. My name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys how to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.